Welcome to our training video on Prolog Sky reports. As mentioned in our Prolog Sky login video, depending on your security rights, when logging into Prolog Sky, you'll be able to access either Prolog Manager or Prolog Converge or both. Because Prolog Manager uses Report Manager in both Project Talk and Prolog Sky, this video will focus on the differences between reporting in Prolog Website versus Prolog Converge. In Prolog Website, reports are first accessed on the left allowing you to choose the report group of interest, for example here, submittal packages. Once selected, the reports in that group are displayed on the right. Upon selecting the report, you'll have various actions to take such as run or filter the report. In Prolog Converge, the reports are accessed via the web area called Reports. It's at the top of the screen. Let's take a look. Much like in Prolog Manager, there's a left navigation pane that allows access to the public, secure, and system reports. There are multiple tabs on each report, general, designer, options, and previously run reports. On the general tab you select your report output and across which portfolios and projects you'd like to run your report. Once defined you can view, send, or download your report. The designer tab acts much like the designer tab in Prolog's report manager. To learn about this tab, please watch our next video, Prolog Sky Queries. At the Options tab, you define your header, footer, and logo information along with formatting and margin options. Lastly, the Previously Run Reports tab allows you to see what your reports look like when they were generated at previous points in time. For example, if it's March and you wanted to see a snapshot of your February RFI report, if the report was run in February, you can retrieve a copy of it in PDF here. Reports can also be run directly from different Prolog forms. Essentially, this ability is similar to Prolog Manager's Quick Print feature. For example, when you're in an RFI record, like number 23 here, you simply click the Print button to display the output of your choice. Let's take a look. Here I am on RFI number 23. I click the Print option at the top and select the report form, which is then displayed in PDF format. Also, you can send this report on the fly to any project team member. Again, still in RFI number 23, I click Send, the Sending Report dialog box displays, and you then add a subject and email body message. Notice the PDF of the RFI form is automatically referenced for attachment, and you can add additional recipients here as needed. Then you simply click Submit. Reports can also optionally be included in auto notification emails sent out. Contact your Prolog administrator for more information on this topic. Keep in mind, just like with Project Talk, certain report configuration options must be performed in Prolog Manager, such as adding report subfolders, copying reports from the system to the public folder, adding permanent report filters, and applying Query Manager queries to reports. I'll now share with you some next steps and resources available to support you in learning Prolog. Be sure to watch our next video, Prolog Sky Queries. See listed our resources available for you to further your Prolog knowledge. We also have various social media outlets where you can connect with us and other Prolog users in the community. Please visit our website at meridiansystems.com support and services to view our current list of training offerings. And if you're curious as to what classes and training materials will best suit your Prolog learning goals, click the Prolog Learning Path link. We've listed some suggested next steps for new users, administrators, and for those who want to take a deep dive into specific areas of Prolog. And lastly, we encourage you to visit support link to find our library of Prolog training videos. Remember to have your Prolog serial number available to access those videos. And once logged into the library, you can search for the video topics that best suit your learning needs. And each video is indexed per chapter to make for easy search and navigation. Should you have any questions on our training resources or would like to contact Prolog support, please email us at the addresses provided or call us anytime. We're here to assist you in your training and support needs. Thank you for watching our video.